In early 2006, a mysterious trailer for a video game called Tomb Raider Anniversary Edition leaked onto the web. Within minutes, fans around the globe were buzzing over what appeared to be the next Tomb Raider, coinciding with Lara Croft's 10th birthday. The video was not a true representation of an upcoming game, but Eidos did confirm they were creating a new action-packed game based on the original Tomb Raider. There was a kind of a series of emotions that we went through when we found out that uh, we were going to get to make the next Tomb Raider game. You kind of realize, holy crap, we have to make the next Tomb Raider. There's a great sense of responsibility on our shoulders and, and reverence to the original game that we don't want to mess up in any way. But just why did they come up with a plan to enhance Lara's first adventure? Who better to answer that question than the man who started it all? This gives us an opportunity to actually tell the story that we were trying to tell in the first place and also to put a bit more emotional resonance into it. I wanted to bring more of an emotional sort of side to the story, so it kind of evolved into more of a question of discovering how far she's willing to go to pursue her sort of goals, how far she'll step beyond sort of what's morally acceptable to achieve her goals. And that, I think that's very interesting. Developers at Crystal Dynamics knew that updating the classic was a challenge even a new and improved Lara might be afraid to tackle. The most difficult part is taking those memorable pieces of Tomb Raider 1 and recreating them in a way that's fresh, but at the same time totally evokes nostalgia. To better understand why the original game deserved an encore, developers went back and played it again, and again, and again. We went back, played through it, really to make sure that we're hitting all the things that people remember from the original game. I think I'm over a hundred planes of Tomb Raider 1, which makes me an uber geek. While developers practically memorized part 1, the series creator worked tirelessly to expand the story of Lara's journey, recovering a mythical artifact called the Skion, and solving the mystery of Atlantis. A fleshed out storyline isn't the only surprise. Slick new moves round it all out. She's now got a grapple, she has more moves than she had in the original game. We're improving where we can while still trying to stay within the boundaries of what the original game was really about. You're going to get your nostalgia, you're going to get those locations you remember, those encounters you remember, but they're just going to be executed at a much higher production level. Along with higher production value, gamers can expect to hear a newly orchestrated version of the original classic score. Making music to our ears is the job of Trolls Folman, composer for Tomb Raider Anniversary. With Anniversary Edition, it's really about being faithful to the old games. I think everybody will recognize that the old themes are there, they'll absolutely know all the tunes, the main theme is scored exactly the same way, but just with a little more advanced types of orchestration on it. Enhancements don't stop there. Players will get some pretty interesting eye candy this time around. My favorite part of the game would have to be the T-Rex fight. I mean, everybody sort of remembers that from the first one, so we brought it back and we're trying to make it as great as we can to really hit everybody's expectations of what their memory of the original game is. The bit I'm most excited about seeing is the cat mummies. They're definitely not cute. You're not going to want to leave these guys like a saucer of milk. Thanks to the improvements, Tomb Raider Anniversary is bound to uncover a whole new legion of fans. Gamers from the crypts of Cairo to the tombs of Tunisia are keyed up for Lara's big birthday bash. If we have one message for the fans out there, it's that we're doing our best to make a faithful recreation of the original Tomb Raider experience and that we're really doing it for you guys and we hope you enjoy it. Next week, GameTap TV continues the exclusive look at the franchise that changed the face of video games. The goal was to um, have her as an exaggerated representation of female form. Some fantasies do become reality. Ten years of Tomb Raider, a GameTap retrospective. Catch all of the webisodes on demand, only on GameTap TV.